Welcome to Technical Founders. My name is Carlos Lara, AI Technical Founder, and today we will learn how to prepare data to feed into our convolutional neural network for training and evaluation. And as a quick recap, in the previous lesson, we, we defined our convolutional neural network architecture to perform facial key point detection. And now we will be using computer vision techniques to transform the, these images of faces in a, in a way that is standardized and to be fed into, in, into our, our model. So the first step here is to gather our data. So we're downloading a, a zip file here and then we're unzipping it. And this, and it, this contains uh, test data and um, training data. So this set of image data has been extracted from the YouTube faces data set which includes videos of people in YouTube videos. And these videos have been fed through some uh, processing steps and turned into sets of image frames containing one face and the associated key points. So it contains, uh, in, in each training and test image, there is a single face and 68 key points with coordinates X, Y for that face. And these key points mark important areas of the face, such as the eyes, corners of the mouth, the nose, etc. And these key points are relevant for a variety of tasks, such as face filters, emotion recognition, post recognition, uh, and, and so on. So here we, do we download that, that data, unzip it, and now we have a, our data in our lo local directory. So here we're first, we're, we're well, some usual imports. This, this line here is not important. Uh, we import the uh, PyTorch mo modules that we need. And then from the previous lesson, our model that we created here, we're just instantiated and in import the file where, where we created our, our net class here. And we can see the our, our model architecture right here. So here we, we're going to define transformation. So again, we want to standardize these, these images that, that, that we downloaded so that they're all, they all go into the model, into our neural network in the same way, in the same format, uh, so, so, that it's, uh, it, so that it's consistent. So the first thing is we need to def define those, those transformations. So here um, we're going to import from Torch Vision, the uh, transforms and utils. And here we have a function in, the tra in transforms called compose. And that's where we compose, we put together the various transformations that we want applied to that particular image in, the, in, in this case for our computer vision task. So as we can see here, we have, so we have a file here, data load, and we are importing rescale, random crop, normalize, and two tensor uh, methods. And then we'll, and we'll, go, we'll go into, um, in, into details uh, of, of what each one of them is doing. So let's go here into our file, into our, our data load file. We have our transforms. So the first one is a normalize. A transformation. So we want to normalize um, our images. We want uh, so this means converting a color image to grayscale and to normalize the color range uh, to be uh, for, uh, zero and one. So we have our call function to so so when we call this normalize, and th so the first thing is we have our image and our key points, and we're going to assign it uh, our sa sample here which is our, uh, so, so we pull our image and then we pull our key point. So the parameter here, it takes, it takes a sample, uh, right? So our, our, our data point, our data instance, and then we're just going, going to pull the, the, in the image here. And we're going to pull the, the key points from, from that data. In a moment, we'll, we'll look at how that's, um, how that's working. Well, in fact, here, uh, feel free to pause the video here. Here's, you, you can see how we're reading our pandas data, data frame, which contains our data and how we, how we pull it and what, what, what's in there. So feel free to pause the video and take a look at how that's working. So we have our image and our key points. And then um, we want to create a copy of our image. Uh, so we use NumPy copy, copy the image, copy the key points, and then, so now this is just standard creating a copy so we don't change the original um, data. So we have our image copy, typical convert using CV to OpenCV, uh, convert, convert from RGB uh, to gray. And here uh, we want to uh, normalize here the color range. So colors, so these ranges are from zero to 255, but we want it to be between zero and one. So we just divide each element in this uh, NumPy array by 255. And now we want um, the key points to be centered around zero. So with a range from minus one uh, to one. So here we're simply going to subtract by the mean and divide by, this, by the standard deviation here. So, so now, so we have our image, which again, so it's been, has been the color range has been normalized uh, from 255 now to zero to one. 
and our key points have been have been normalized as well by subtracting the mean and dividing by, by the standard deviation and now we just want to return them so now um, the, the the image and the key points have been have been have been normalized so that's our normalized function now the next one is rescale so we want to rescale the image in a sample to a given size and, and in our case we want to uh, um, uh, here first define our our init so it's going to take in an input input size I mean an output size so what is the output of the image after uh, that you want to rescale it to and here there's only two possible values you, you either pass in an, an, an integer uh, and then that's going to be the side either the width or the height that you want that you want it to be so it's going to be the same width or height or a tuple you pass it the the actual width and height and in, in, in a tuple and here we're just making sure that it's one one of those two and if it is we just assign it to here to our to our class variable output size now when we call this rescale uh where we are going to first of all okay so so grab so so sample we pass in our sample here and we just grab our image and our and our and our key points and then we we grab their shape, we grab their, their their height and width, whatever they are, and then again making sure that the output size is is is, is what we want. So if it's an int here, and and and, and we checked, we want to re uh, reshape. So uh, so the tuple, the out the output is matched to the output size here in, in the in the else. Just so the new height and the new width will just be we'll just assign to that tuple, it will be um, the, 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 those two values. Now, if it's an integer here, and, that, and that's, that's what we're checking, the smaller of the image edges is matched to the output size, keeping the aspect ratio the same. And feel free to pause the video at any moment to see how, how the code is working. Uh, but again, the, the point is really just that we want to rescale the image uh, um, in a sample to a given size that, that, that we pass in here, the, the, out, the output size. So we have our new width and height, and then we use our OpenCV function, resize function, and again the namespace here is CV2, um, and we just we just re resize that that image to the new width and the and the new height. Uh, we scale the key the the key points as well, and so it's so they're so they're both uh, standardized, and we just return them. So that's how we're going to do the our, our rescale. So we have our, our normalized rescale, and now we also want to do a random uh, crop. So we want to crop it to a uh, crop randomly the image in a, in, in a sample. So and so normally we want to do in this case we're going to do 224. So we want an image that is whatever image that we have after after it's been uh, rescaled. We want to randomly crop it by 224 by 224. So the, in this, let's say we have a 250 image that's been uh, rescaled to 250. We want to randomly grab a 224 by 224 area in, in that image, crop it, and and that's what we're going to have. So again, feel free to pause the video, check, see how this is how this is working. But uh, so it's pretty pretty similar as before. We have the output size. Make sure it's either an int or a tuple. Tuple if you want to specify both size, height, and width. And int if you just want the one. And then you'll keep the the aspect to ratio um, um, the the same. So so we call it. We pass our sample, our data point, grab our image, our key points, and again do something very similar as before. But now we want to. Uh, uh, grab the grab the random here uh, uh, from from this range from zero to the height minus the new height, and so again this is basically what it's doing. Like I said, it's just grabbing a uh, randomly from that area. It's grabbing a sub area of two of two twenty four by two twenty four or whatever the output size that you that you passed in, cropping it, and right. So here we, you're here just grabbing just that area from uh, from your NumPy array, and same with your so your image your key points, and then you just you just return them. So we're so that's uh, um, how we're going to randomly crop after it's been, after you rescale. So and the last one here, your convolutional neural network here in PyTorch, it's expecting a three-dimensional PyTorch tensor, and not only that, it expects the the color channel to be the to be the uh, the first dimension. So here your your NumPy image has a height with the dimensions are height width and color channel, but now we want to actually convert it. To, to be the color channel to be first and then height and width. That's our PyTorch uh, um, image, our PyTorch tensor. That's how, how, it's, uh, how it's expected. So similar again, when we call it, we pass in our sample, we grab the image and the key points. And now obviously here, if there's no uh, grayscale color channel, we just want to add one. So we will just do the reshape. And then the most important here is these, the, the, these last two steps. So transpose, so, tra so the tra when you transpose here, 
uh, your NumPy is just going, to, uh, it's going, to, you're going to say, okay, so the 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 number two, so the third the third uh, dimension is going to become the first, and then we have and zero one are are the same. So you're just kind of, so you're just transposing that that, that array. So as 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 you can see here, just to switch just switch the location of the color channel. Because that's what how how it's going to be expected to our CNN, and then once we have that, now we want to convert from our NumPy array to a PyTorch tensor. So we call torch from NumPy, and then we pass in both our image and our key points and return them. So that so now we have our it's been converted, our data has been converted properly to a PyTorch tensor with the proper shape, three dimensional PyTorch tensor. So that's her transformations, and now when we go back here. We we were defining our data transform, and we have our transforms here from Torch Vision, and we're composing them. Here we 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 compose the four. So again, so the rescale we pass 250. So it's going to rescale the uh, the images to 250, and then randomly crop them. Grab our 224 by 224 area, and then we're going to normalize it, and we're going to convert it to a tensor. So we compose all of those. So each each data point is going to have this transform transform the set of transformations compose transformations applied to it. And of course, here from our data load here from our file, we're, we're importing those transformations. Then we're, just, we're 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 calling it here. Now the next step is we also we want to also have our our data set our facial key points data set. So let's go ahead and and look, and look at that here. So we have a class. A facial key points data set that takes in a, um, so when you initialize it, it's going to take in a CSV file, a root directory, and the transformations. So here in, in the in the initialization in the initialization, we're simply storing uh, our pandas data frame. So we have our, C, our CSV file coming in as a parameter. We're going to use pandas read CSV function. So we're going to read it and we're going to to assign it here at the class level variable key points frame. And it's a pandas data frame. And then we save our root directory, same. And then we're, we also save our transformation. And we have a length function that simply returns a length of, a, of our pandas data frame. And the, um, the most important method here is the get item. So whenever you're going to pull each item here from, uh, from this instance, from this data set instance, you're going to pass in an index. And then how we, the way you grab your image name is you have uh, you you join here your root directory, and then to the, the 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 name of the image. So again, feel free to to come here and pause the video, see how we're, how we're, we're we're pulling data from the, the data frame. But basically, here at uh, the index of whatever image you want to grab, the the at, at zero here we have the name of the image. So this this JPEG file. So we're going to join the root directory here with that file, and that's how we're going to grab the um, the image name, the file of the image, and then we're simply going to use some um, MP image and read function. So we're going to read in um, that that image. And here, just kind of just be safe. It has a color, uh, an alpha color channel. Get rid of it. So we have our, our our key points, and the same thing. Instead of at zero, at one, we grab our our key points, uh, reshape them, and then uh, for for a sample here. Now we have our image, and then we have our our key points. And the images after you, we, we've we've read it and pulled it from the appropriate um, place in the local directory. And now we have we do have and we have a transform which we do here we we pass in a transform we'll see in a moment uh, we we want to also transform that sample so remember in the transform so every time we were we had a, a sample this is how it is so we're we're pulling it from our pandas data frame from 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 our data and then we're for that particular um, data the images and the key points we're performing the transformation and then we're re returning that, um, that that sample with all with all of that done. So here we have our transformed data set, and here we have an we create an instance facial key points that is data set, and as we saw, we pass in our CSV file, um, and then our root directory, and then our our transform our composed transforms which which we define right here, and here just you can see how how many images we have in our transformed data set, and then you can iterate uh, to through some of them just to see what we have, and again any moment. Pause the video and, and check out uh, what's happening in, in, in more detail. But we have our PyTorch tensor of the expected size, so grayscale, which is one, our, our first dimension. And then we have 224 by 224, just as, as, as we would expect. And then for our key points, we have 68 key points here, and then two because we have an X and Y coordinate for each one of those um, 68 key points. So very nice how we are. Uh, uh, so now our data is, is ready, it's, it's transformed, it's being read, um, so 
we, do we downloaded our, our data, we have in our local directory, again, transform it, do everything we need to it, create an instance of our data set. So now we're, we're almost ready, but one thing that we need first is to batch our data. So, I mean, in, in this case, and even in the general case, you might have a very large data set and you don't want to process it, put it in, into the network, into the convolutional neural network in this case, all of it at once, because you might run out of memory. It's just it's just not efficient. So what we do is we batch our data. So we define a batch size, and batch size is a hyperparameter that you can tune, that you can change. And in this case, we 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 pick, um, I pick ten here, but we define a uh, a batch size, and we're going to load our data in batches at a time, and it's going to be processed by our model in in these batches. So ten at a time in this case in batches. So we're going to define a train loader and then we're going to, to create a data loader here and the data loader here is coming from torch.utils.data so it's just very standard how you define a data loader here so you can load it into batches so we're going to pass in our transform data set which we have here and our batch size our hyperparameter and shuffle equals true it means that if you want to randomize shuffle randomly shuffle that data and yes of course um, this is this is this is per, per, pretty standard and number of workers that's not, not 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 important for us right now but this is basically how we have our data loader that pulls in our data in a batch size of 10 at a time so that's our train loader and we also have a test uh, test loader as well so as we can see here we define a test data set and um, so the root directory here is different we have our test um, the, the directory and then same batch size we, we picked here but basically uh, we have our our train loader, our, our train data essentially, with our batch size of 10 and our test data as well. So now here, and here we're not, I'm not going to go through it, uh, just kind of stop the video, pause the video, it's very simple what's going on, we're, we're just um, de de defining a, a function here to do kind of a sample output prior to the model being um, being trained here. So we're just making sure that the sizes are, are consistent and what we expect. So here now, the difference here is now we have an extra dimension here, 10, which is our batch size. So, so and, and the others are, are, are the same. And now here you can we have a function here to show all all, all key points it's not very important right now you can you can check it out um, on on your own but we just want to visualize our our output so we're going to grab some of the some of the images and green is the key points that, that came in with our data so that's the the actual quote unquote labels what we're trying to to predict and then before training our model we want we're we're, we're doing a a a, pr a prediction here. Um, and as you can see, so since the model is not trained, it doesn't know what are the weights, uh, it doesn't know anything, it's just kind of outputting all of the key points to be kind of right at the center uh, of the image. That's the, the, the these magenta color um, dots all stacked on top of each other. And then the green is what we're trying to predict. So that's the facial key points. That's how we we're, we want to do these, this facial detection here uh, for, um, for, for in, in, in this task here, to be able to detect facial key points in, uh, in, in, in images for facial uh, detection here. So in, in the next, um, tutorial we're going to get into how we actually train the, mo the, the model and predict the and and opt and tune our, our, our parameters and get to and find the weights that will act accurately predict um, the, the the facial key points or uh, to a good good enough uh, a, a prediction for for the facial key points so um, so thank you if you have any any questions uh, thoughts uh, comment below also if, if you like the content uh, please go ahead and subscribe and I'll see you next time when we go in, in, into the training of our convolutional neural network.